Hey, what's up everyone? Kobanamani456 here today, continuing my playthrough on Super Mario Sunshine for the Nintendo GameCube. So, last time we started off this playthrough and got the first five Shine Sprites, and now we're going to continue on and finish off, hopefully, the last few missions in Bianco Hills and move on to Rico Harbor, if we actually have the time. But, if you all are enjoying this playthrough and want to keep on seeing more of this playthrough uploaded daily, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button. Let's see if we can get this video to 2,500 likes, and I'll make sure to upload the next part as soon as as I can. But anyway, um, before I actually do get into this stage, I'm going to go ahead and get into the question of the day. As in the last episode, the question of the day was, what are your opinions on this game? What uh, would you all like to see a sequel or a remake of this game or what? And got a ton of people saying that they really did like this game and then a ton of people saying that, you know, they didn't like it or that it was their least favorite 3D Mario game. So let me know in the comments below for today's question of the day. What would you like the Mario series, like, what direction do you want the Mario series to go into? Would you like to see it to be more open world, like, uh, I guess Super Mario 64? Would you like it to be more galaxy-like, to where it's a bit linear, but has these huge, ginormous galaxies that you go all over the place to? Or would you like it more like Sunshine, to where uh, it kind of has, like, gimmicks or whatever to enhance uh, Mario's platforming capabilities. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, and then heck, if you, even if you have your own idea for what you would like to see in a Mario game, like, just imagine yourself in Miyamoto's chair, imagine yourself having the drawing board in front of you, and let me know what you all would do if you had full reigns over a Mario project. I'm actually kind of interested to see what you all have to say, because I know, I know a lot of you all have some creative minds and uh you know i don't know sometimes like i think uh, I, I think a lot about what i want from like the sonic series and whatnot but not so much the mario series i mean i was just really happy with galaxy like that is my favorite like super mario galaxy 2 was my favorite mario game of all time like there's nothing that beats it i know there may be people that you know like uh what is it like the 2d mario games and whatnot but me personally Super Mario Galaxy 2 was my game. I, I loved that game so much. It was so great. And with me just pissing all over the place. <laughs> Alright, so. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take out these enemies. Because if you don't take these guys out first, they're going to be really annoying later on. So, uh, best to just kind of... Wow! Wow! <laughs> Alright, so just spin around here and spray like that like a freaking water sprinkler. So freaking awesome, man. Look at that, man. Look at that, man. Just going ham. Alright, so I'm going to come over here, though. Go and get my refill of water before... Uh, oh, there's even a blue coin right here. Okay, how do I dive? Okay, press the B button. Oh, dang it. I didn't save. Oh, well. Alright, so we're going to get back up here because... Yeah, the mission is Petey Piranha Strikes Back. He's striking back like Mewtwo will in the next Smash Bros, hopefully. And, um... Yeah, they do recycle bosses around here quite often, but, you know, it's not too bad. I mean, oh god, I did it the wrong way. Okay, if I can somehow... Whoop. Ah! I'm having so much... Ah, oh, dang it. Having so much trouble actually doing this properly. Okay. Ah! Alright, there we go! Nice, 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 nice. Alright, so now we're back to business here. But yeah, if I if I wanted like a new Mario game, like like I said in the previous episode, Miyamoto said that the next Mario game is most likely going to be from the Galaxy series. So you know, I'm perfectly fine with that. I don't have any problems because I love Galaxy. That is my favorite you know Mario game out of the series. But I don't know. I'd like to see. I don't know, I'd like to see an open world Mario game, that'd be pretty great, especially on the Wii U, because how powerful that system is graphically, like, I, I could definitely see you know, a lot of really fantastic stuff coming out of the Wii U's hardware with an upcoming Mario game. But I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what Miyamoto surprises us with. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, blast away! Straight into that dude's face, wake him up! Alright, so what we gotta do is, uh, yeah, after we actually do wake him up, he's, excuse me, hiccup right there, he's gonna come down here, kinda start barfing all over the place, so what you gotta do is, um, be prepared. Yes, my teeth and ambitions are bad. Be prepared. Alright, see so right there, he's just kinda floating right above us. I gotta spray his little booty. Okay, if it would actually get him. What the heck? Why the heck is he coming all the way over here? No! Get down on your knees, son! 
get ready to get sprayed all in the face. Alright. So yeah, he's gonna toss out uh, tornadoes straight from Sonic Riders. Like, look at that. Those things look like they come out of the uh, exhaust from Sonic Riders. Anyway, gargle on this Listerine! Alright. Get ready to just dive into him and smash his belly button. Wide open. Yeah, let's party! Seriously, though. That dude's that dude's stomach and belly button gets so big, you could just probably like jump right into it and fly into orbit. It's got some gravitational pull. <laughs> All right, where the heck did he go? Hello. Where did he go? Um. Oh God. Okay. There he is, tossing out big, ginormous globs of crap all over the place. All right, you need to you need to sit your butt down. All right this stuff here because this is this is craziness man i'm not about to get hit by all these octopus things oh god he tossed me up in the air no all right there we go die already die all right avoid the tornado if i could actually do that okay um hello all right another tornado coming through all right got the okay here we go ah oh, yeah release it feel the rush Alright. What the heck? Okay. That took to like two pounds right there. Alright. Um, I could possibly let me see. He's gonna fly up really high. Huh. I don't think I can actually attack him until uh uh what is it? He actually stops in place for a second, but I'm running low on the water. Okay, you sit your rump down. Alright. I think we have enough water to actually take him out. I was gonna actually go get a refill quick. Yeah, look at this. Left his mouth wide open just for us to do that. Perfect. All right, we actually had a much easier time on this boss than I thought we would. And there it is. Watch him just crust into that chocolate. <laughs> that chocolate, ah, oh, wow, hello? Don't do that. Okay, I'm done with this. Oh, okay. I was trying to see if I could actually dive into the shine sprite and then get it, like, when the certain cutscene ends, but it just brings us all the way over here, so it's kind of no point. Alright. Okay, nope. You need to die right now. Hey, look at that. I didn't even know that that was actually a thing, but anyway, I dive into that shine sprite. But did you see that? I mean, I actually took that dude out. It was like he released a little water bottle of freaking water to replenish your gauge. It's kind of cool. But anyway, there was the sixth mission right there. Um, or no, that was the fifth mission. What am I talking about? That was the fifth mission. And yeah, there's that freaking hot steamy dump over there. But we're not going to go to that area just yet. Um, what is that place? I'm trying to recall because I kind of forget what the names of these worlds are. They're kind of weird. Like Bianco Hills. Like, oh god. Okay. Actually, let me see here. Let me see here if I can do something pretty cool. Okay. What I'm gonna do here is ah dang it! What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to okay here we go. There we go. <laughs> Bounce into it and just fly into the teleport teleporting uh, M right there. It's kind of funny. All right, so now we're gonna go on to episode six, Secret of the Dirty Lake. And yes, oh my God, what the heck? The drainage has been clogged up, so now we got like the sewer spreading all over the place. So now we have to go find what the trouble is around here. What the dealio is. But one thing I did see um, from a lot of people uh, in the last episode... Um, oh yeah, that, that's actually um, one thing I forgot I wanted to talk about. It seemed like a ton of people actually liked the new outro, so I want to give a bit, big, uh, big thanks to Bruce Magoose for uh, doing that outro. Um, I thought about it, you know, like, recently. I wanted to kind of do, like, an animated outro. And, uh, he came up to me, asked me for, um, if I wanted, uh, him to do something, and that's how I got it. So if you all are interested, you know, whatnot, getting animated outros for, I guess, your channel or whatever, if you do do one, or, you know, do YouTube videos or whatever, make sure to go check out my man. But, yeah, I'm glad that a ton of people actually liked it, because at first, you know, I was like, eh, I don't know if people are going to actually like that anime outro or not, you know. It's something I've wanted to do for quite a while. But wait, I'm going to the wrong area. I'm supposed to be coming over here. What the heck is wrong with me right now? <laughs> I'm going to the... I'm co 
go into the completely wrong hole right there. That's what she said. All right, am I gonna make it? Oh God, I'm not gonna make it. Uh, oh, am I? Am I? Oh my God, I made it! I thought I was gonna die. I thought I was gonna drown in it. All right. So, yeah. Um, we're supposed to actually be coming over this way because the mission we're supposed to be going to is another floodless mission, to where Mr. Steel Girl is gonna take our uh, hover nozzle or flood nozzle, whatever you want to call it. And we're gonna have to do this stage all solo. All right, so hopefully I can make this right here. Oh my God! Oh! Whoa! No! Okay, get out, get out, get out, get out! Oh my God! Oh my God! I made it, and then I jumped off and was flying. But I, oh, right here, this is the turbo nozzle. This is pretty much the Sonic the Hedgehog, like nozzle to where we can go super fast and super Sonic speed. But sadly. We're gonna lose it, so I only got to try it out for just a couple of seconds. Didn't last that long. <laughs> Alright, this mission though is kind of annoying. So hopefully I don't die too many times around here, but we got these flipping platforms. Alright, so if the camera would be so kind to get the trees out of my eyesight. Alright. I gotta say, I love this acapella music, man. It's so good. Oh, skills. All right, jump right here, and jump here. Thankfully, they're so generous enough to actually put a one-up right there, so that helps out a ton. Anyway, uh, wall jump off that like freaking Spider-Man, and you can come onto this block. Now you gotta be careful because this block rotates like all different directions, and it'll screw you over if you're not careful. Oh God! Living on the edge right there. Okay, jump because those things will push you off. Freaking. Invisible kindergartners pushing their blocks trying to knock me off. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, got the one up. Hey, not bad. But yeah, see, I, I really do hate these missions. Not because they're difficult, but just because Mario is super slippery in this game. He's just like slipping and sliding all over the place. And it's so annoying at times. Because, like, I've died so many times just because. Mario just decided, hey, I want to slip off the edge right here instead of actually jumping instead. I don't know if it's just me that's actually experienced this problem, but, you know, ye. Alright, up! Oh. Alright. This mission's kind of weird. We gotta go back and forth between the platforms. Oh, God! Okay. Okay, I'm gonna hop back here. Oh my god, what the heck was I doing? <laughs> what the heck was I doing? No! Dive into the black hole. I don't know what I was doing. It was like, I was so excited because I was just like one jump away. So I'm like, yes, 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 yes. And I'm like, wait a second, it rotates. It was too late. Crap. I gotta remember that, man. Stage gets at you so much because it's just like, you're so happy. Like, to actually be so close to the end of the stage, but then, oh god, oh god, no! Oh, why? <laughs> I messed up again. Okay. We're not gonna let this happen again. I'm not gonna let this happen again. Especially right before the one-up show, uh, before the one-up is right there. Like, what the heck? Okay, so I just gotta be patient. Just gotta be patient, man. Just gotta be patient. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's gonna flip. Okay, jump. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright. Now let's wall jump there. Alright, awesome. Okay, just gotta concentrate. Worst thing about it is that my room is extremely hot because usually, like, my room doesn't have, like, AC or anything like that, so I have to, like, turn my fan on. And my fan makes a lot of noise, so it's like I have to either decide whether or not I want a lot of background noise in my videos or like freaking boil in my room. And I'm choosing to boil right now to get the get the full Mario Sunshine experience. Get that 4D <laughs> 4D gameplay to where it not only do not only is it a 3D Mario game, I also feel the heat. Can you feel it? Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
I love that song. I love that song! What is wrong with me? Okay, let's see if I can actually try something. I seriously thought I was gonna make that. I don't know what happened. I just like terribly screwed up. Okay. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Yay! Shortcut! Like a boss. Alright. Let's try this again. God! Why do I suck at these so much? Like, I, I'm pretty decent at the rest of the game. Like, that's not a problem. It's just always these sections here. Because... Oh, die for it! Alright. Get ready. Jump. Okay, good, 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 good. Made it! We made it! Alright. Alright, get the extra one up there. Alright, nice, 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 nice. Ah, uh, man. I would actually like to see Sunshine on the 3DS. I think it would really take advantage of it. Like, the 3D effect, because sometimes it's so hard to tell where you're going to actually land at times. I think it would definitely benefit from 3D. Okay. So we're not going to be able to reach that right there, so we got to wait for that to flip. Alright, nice. Okay, just concentrate. Concentrate on it. Oh god. Wait a sec. Okay. 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 Nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly there. Oh my god! I made it! I made it! I made it! Okay. Okay. Dive into it! Yes! Woo! I seriously was so nervous that entire time. Freaking palms are sweaty, knees, weak arms are heavy. <laughs> on the surface, he looks calm and ready to drop bombs, but he keeps on forgetting. Okay, I'm gonna stop. But seriously. Woo! Woo, man. I was sweating to high heaven right there. Alright. So now we're gonna go straight back in there. And we're gonna go on to the seventh mission. This is the, uh, I believe this is the final mission of Bianco Hills, yeah. Um, <clears throat> basically in order to, um, unlock the final, uh, place that we have to go to. I can't recall what that lava mountain, is it lava mountain? Maybe I'm thinking of Sonic, uh, Sonic, uh, Lost World. But anyway, in order to get to the last area, all you gotta do is just, um, yeah. Uh, what the heck is going on here? Okay, come on, die already. You need to die right now, sir. Alright, I will kill you right now. Okay, come on. Alright, but yeah, what you have to do in order to actually um, uh, get like the last area is you have to defeat Shadow Mario. That's the only way you can actually, um, uh, what is it, get to the uh, final area. So you have to beat Shadow Mario in every single world, so beat the seventh mission, and then you're done. I mean, we're almost done here. This guy is a piece of cake. Okay, what the? What the? How the heck is he dodging that? Hello? Die already! Thank you! <laughs> ah, I remember this! Shut up. Alright, let's see here. Can I do something really cool? Okay, uh, no. First off, you die. Alright, uh, oh. Nope, but dang it! Ah, oh well. You know, I'm gonna just dive into it. Oh! <laughs> I was gonna see if I could like jump off it and then like do a ground pound off the wall and then jump into it or dive into it. I don't know. Anyway, there we go. Very easy shine. Probably one of the easiest missions. I think the Shadow Mario missions are the easiest ones. But hey, we are done with Bianco Hills. So I guess, hmm, let me think. How much have we done? Uh, we've been recording maybe for about 20 minutes, something like that. I think I can do like two or three missions here, and then the next episode I'll do uh, like the last missions for uh, this area. So what we're going to do is go and spray into the paint right there. Get ready to spin, and there we go. We are now going off to the next area in this game, which is Rico Harbor. I have to say though, it's my least favorite area in the entire game. I, I, I just don't like it. Like, you see those, uh, like, tall catwalks right there? 
Yeah, that's where Mario's kind of slippery, so, you know, I'm always ending up slipping and sliding all over the place. Now, what would be really cool is, if you want to actually get over there, like, you could, like, ground pout into these things and, like, kind of explore underground in the sewers, but... There are boxes on every single sewer, like, manhole, so I can't really get to those just yet. I have to do this the old-fashioned way. So we gotta actually climb up here. Alright, and then, um, let's see. We gotta come up here. Now, what I usually do is... Okay, if I can somehow do it. Alright, come up here. We gotta get all the way over there, so... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I got stuck in that somehow. What the heck? Okay. I need to get on this again. Alright, so what I usually do is... Uh, let's see. Alright, do a backflip or a side flip over here so that we can get up here and just easily come over this way. Now we're gonna be facing off against our boss. We go slide into it. Oh God! Okay, look at this long, stringy thingy. Let's go ahead and pull on it because I've seen enough animes to know where this is going. <laughs> oh God! Oh, mamma mia! All right, Ron J is back at it once again. We gotta go ahead and clean off this goop on this dude's face. Because what you gotta do is clean off the goop. Then you gotta actually uh, break his tentacles right here. So go ahead and grab onto the hentai tentacles um, before he slams some into you. Oh, what the heck? Get out of here already. Okay, so go ahead and pull on his t uh, two front tentacles right here. And you're gonna actually be able to, um, yeah, actually pull on his nose. So. Okay. Right, there we go. Nice. Okay. Just need to pull this one. It's so freaking disgusting, man. Miyamoto puts his fetishes in every. Oh god! What the heck? This dude did like a freaking like pincer claws with his tentacles. But yeah. See right there. Miyamoto always incorporates his fetishes into Mario games. Like, look at that. It's kind of a bit, a bit of a dirty man, indeed. Because I swear, every single Mario Zelda game or whatever has tentacles somewhere in them. Like, even in, uh, even in Skyward Sword, too. I remember that. There's that one dude that looks like he's from Monsters, Inc. or whatever. Got tentacles all over his face, or all over his body. Okay, um, there we go. Nice. The last one I need, if I could actually grab it! Thank you. Blah! Okay. Alright, now that he's vulnerable and helpless, go ahead and pull on his nose right here, tug on it, tug on it, tug on it, and SCROOSH! And now he will turn into Black Doom. <laughs> Alright, so now that we're done there, we can go ahead and dive into the Shine Sprite, and we have collected our ninth Sprite. I think I'll do one more mission to just go ahead and, uh, like, do five missions per episode or something like that, and then we'll be done here, so. But yeah, seriously. It's like every single Mario, Zelda, Nintendo game has to have some freaking monster with disgusting tentacles all around them. You gotta tug on them or do some weird stuff with it. Anyway, go back into it. And now this mission, what is this? Is this the blooper race? Yes, it is! Okay, blooper surfing safari. Alright. So, this one is a bit difficult. Um, well, it was on my first time um, that I played through this, but... You know, now, it's not that hard at all. What's really hard is the red coin mission for this game to where you have to use the bloopers. That's where it gets really difficult. So, I believe the green one's the slowest one, the yellow one is the uh, most balanced one, and the purple one is the fastest one, but it has the least and um, actually the worst handling. That's what I should say, the worst handling. So we're gonna go ahead with the uh, purple one because gotta go fast! Gotta go fast! Gotta go faster, 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 faster! Mm -mm. Surfing at speed up sound, they try quickest edge jog. Oh shoot, okay, I missed that. Ah! Yeah, be careful not to bump into walls, because if you bump into walls, you fall and die. Okay, you wanna go for a ride, bud? Go ahead and jump on the blooper you like best. Go on, show me some super blooper surfing and win yourself a prize. 
So yeah, this is the mission for uh, <coughs> submission for this uh, stage right here. We just gotta go through this maze and or this course. Once we go through it, then we get ourselves a shine sprite. But be careful, because every time you hurt yourself, you lose a life. So yeah. Alright, you can sometimes go on that right there to kind of slow down and get yourself, um, change your direction a bit more easily if you want to. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, oh, blah, 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 my jump didn't work. What I should have done is I should have gone on the outer edge of the curb and then turned. That way I would have had a better turn in, because that's one thing you can't do while you're on the blooper. You can't jump when you're actually on, like, solid ground. You can while you're in the water, but you can't while you're on solid ground, so that's a bit annoying. So, I should have turned on the outer part of that section there, so that I would have had a bit of a wider turn. Since I am going a bit faster than usual! Oh, God! Almost a tip right there. Disgusting. Okay, so come up here. Okay, turn. There we go. Alright, jump. Massive shortcut right here. Yeah, seriously, this mission is so freaking easy once you know what to actually do right there. And let's slide our way into victory. Alright, let's see what this Pianta actually says uh, right here. Look at him just, look at him do the Harlem shake. Yeah, go dude. Oh, kill. You bud are what I like to call Super Deluxe Cool. To commemorate the birth of a blooper surfing legend. This is for you. Oh, yeah, let's go. And there we go. Our tense shine sprite has been acquired. So freaking awesome. I don't know why. I just, for some reason, randomly thought about Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> anyway, though, we're done for this episode. Collected five shine sprites, and I think we did a good amount of progress. We finished off Bianco Hills, and we already started off a couple of missions in Rico Harbor. But if y'all did enjoy this video, make sure to go and smash that like button. Like I said, let's see if we can get this video 2,500 likes. I'll make sure to upload the next part as soon as possible. Also, for question of the day, like I said, let me know what you all would like in the Mario... Uh, like, what, what would you like to see in the 3D Mario series? Imagine if you had entire control over what Nintendo or what you could do for the next Mario game. What would you like to see on the Wii U? But anyway, that wraps up for this video. So thanks again for watching. See you all. Have a good day. Peace, Kobanamites.